Hi students, this is Dr. Badrinath and uh, today's video this is a uh, drug discovery and uh, drug development. Both are different terms, my dear students. Uh, just see the names very clearly. Drug discovery, identification of the drug, drug discovery. Drug development, which you have identified the drug here, that you are going to develop drug development. This is drug identification, drug discovery, finding the drug. This is developing the drug. That is the two terms. See, how you are going to be develop a drug? Either by prediction or by with the scientific knowledge. There was a relationship between a prediction and scientific knowledge by the Chinese scientist. He is a live Jew. Those who have a knowledge, don't predict. You do it. Do it properly in the laboratory and uh, uh, okay, don't predict if you have a knowledge. And those who predict don't have a knowledge. They do not have. That's why they are uh, simply there. Uh, see, very nice quote uh, he has given. Okay. Uh, see, various stages of the drug discovery. You will get a huge money. You will be more than a uh, world richest man uh, like uh, Amazon uh, and uh, what is that? Elon Musk. Whatever it may be, those may be, you will be world richest, you will be next. Yeah. Mm, clear cut, crystal clear stages of drug discovery. First, see here. This is the stages of drug. This is a drug development process. See how nicely I have divided it. Okay. See one, stage one, you first identify the disease, number one. So, totally nine steps are there. This is a six steps comes under stages of drug discovery. Three steps comes under the drug development process. See, first you identify the disease. For which disease you want to develop a drug. Next is you identify in that disease which enzyme you have to inhibit. Which receptor you have to inhibit. Which receptor you have to block. Which receptor you have to mimic. Okay, right, like, like that. Next target, that is called a target. Target. Next target, you have to validate. Validation. Valid. Next is development of a basic drug raw molecule, lead generation. Next is profiling, lead profiling, basic drug. See, raw drug, you are getting almost drug, not the drug. Almost drug. It is called as almost drug. Now, you have to optimize the lead. Increase the efficacy, decrease the toxicity. If is there anything uh, you can optimize, that is up to that stages of drug discovery. Now, the remaining is preclinical animal testing animal and clinical testing. Phase 1, 2, 3, 4 is the humans. And finally, drug entry into the market and uh, final. See, all my notes is available in the, my mobile app. That is a Parmatrix, for exam. You can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. Okay, And you can be find whichever course you want. You can be open and you can start reading. All my presentations are available in the form of PDF. Okay, and playlist. If you go to a playlist in my, this is my YouTube channel. All my explanation videos are there. I arrange it in the playlist. Subject wise, if you click on each subject, you, again, you will get a topic wise. Yeah, these all these topics we will be complete within a 15 minutes. Stages of drug discovery. See, drug discovery, drug development process. What is a preclinical, non clinical activities, clinical studies? All these things we will be complete. Uh, nine steps. We will complete the nine slides. First one is disease identification. See, the pharmaceutical company or a scientist, you first you identify the disease. Identify for which disease you want to develop a drug. You scratch your head. Okay, you do the survey. Okay, you do survey. See how many, what do you have to do the survey? Which disease is on the top? Which disease is growing fast in the society? Which disease there is a less drugs available in the market? Which disease there will be a repeated patients? See, some of the drugs like a BP, daily they have to take a tablet. <coughs> Every day, one tablet, BP. But painkiller, no, whenever they will get a pain, painkiller. So for BP, repeated audience, repeated audience will be there. But here, yeah, there is no audience. No repeated audience. Okay, see, all these are the statistics of cardiovascular diseases. Estimated uh, deaths, cost of treatment. This is a cost of treatment. This is estimated deaths. 
per year cardiovascular diseases lungs diseases cancers liver kidney now target identification see i have selected a bp now high bp that is my disease okay next target identification you target see this is a development process angiotensin converted into angiotensin 1 and converted angiotensin 2 and uh, constriction of blood vessels it will leads to high blood pressure read and understand the etiology of the disease completely the cause set of the causes the manner how the disease is developed see causation of the diseases uh, identify the target now I, ace inhibitors you know ace inhibitor angiotensin converting it. see i identified this is a target so if i remove this enzyme the entire disease will be stopped so disease will not be developed angiotensin 1 will not be converted into angiotensin 2 right and approach this is like that and you have to study what is the role of this this is called a target ace is a target ace is a enzyme so your target may be enzyme your target may be a protein or it may be a gene or it may be a pathogen whatever it may be almost this is nothing but a mechanism of action for almost each and every diseases what is the role of target what is the function of the target in the disease development very clean term. and furthermore whatever you have selected the target it must be efficacious it must be safe okay and it must be manipulatable you can manipulatable either you can increase the action of the enzyme or block the action of the enzyme you have to kill the action of enzyme or you increase the uh, release of the enzyme okay it must be a druggable druggable manipulatable efficacious safe okay and you study the characters of ace what is the character what is the molecular properties of all this and what are the approaches for target identification these are all data mining using bioinformatics genetic association all these are high five words high five okay you have to complete the complete pharmacology but headings are enough here okay target these are the approaches by using these approaches you have to identify the target now you confirm double check the target either we have selected the correct target if i remove that ac enzyme either bp will be start stop really like that checking it is called a double checking it is called a validation it is nothing but action of checking declaration of that identified target is valid identified target is acceptable okay recognition verification confirmation affirmation without that target this is should not be developed like that you have to confirm okay next double check the molecular target what you have double check directly you confirm that it is directly involved in the disease like that okay how to validate the target there is a number of uh, things are there how to validate like a uh, biosis uh, in vitro biosis in vitro in vivo in vivo biosis uh, biochemical assays uh, biophysical assays if we proceed with the wrong target it results you have you have to lose the total company will lose a huge amount that's why you select the correct you confirm it these are the approaches for target validation this target is also called as a hit next is lead generation basic molecule raw molecule we are going to be generate for this these are all the approaches see here shifting of paradigm all these in silico knowledge virtual screening high throughput screening this is also called as a hit to lead hit hit means target lead means basic drug molecule hit to lead okay we are converting the hit into a lead generation of the basic drug molecule according to the shape of the c receptor is there now you are going to be develop a lead it has to be fit it completely like that lead according to that you have to develop a raw raw drug you have to develop find a lead or uh, you have to test it you have to screen it you have to identify that this is called a lead generation uh, sometimes you will develop a multi target multi drug discovery also that is also one and a lead profiling profile you have to profile adme profile you have to study either solubility aggregation is the solubility is not there it is waste the drug you can't use lipophilicity must be there in order to absorption into the body membrane permeability must be there drug metabolism uh, reactive reactive metabolites drug drug interacts all these you have to be study volume of distribution plasma protein bind this is called a lead profiling next lead optimization see lead optimization is nothing but you are enhancing our improvement optimization 
it is get optimal efficacy optimal safety you have to provide diminish the tax city toxicity and increase the absorption of the compound like that you have to see all the structural characterization impurity identification so you will get a full fledged molecule here see here is a raw molecule blurred molecule here you got a clear picture screening efficacy early ADME, early toxicology you had next pre clinical studies animal study pre clinical clinical what is a clinical clinic means uh, humans will go and take a treatment clinic hospital clinic pre clinical just before the clinical testing of a drug in the animals okay the following you have to confirm before testing direct clinical study not at all acceptable because we don't know how the drug will be reacted in the body so safety pharmacology pharmacokinetics so adm you have to study in the animals general toxicology local tolerance genotoxicity carcinogenicity reproductive toxicology all these special studies you have to be done next is clinical trials in the humans you have to be done three phases are there first you have don't go and study in the wide humans first you take a less group phase one first to confirm the safety safety see phase one safety here we are not going to study the efficacy we are not going to study the therapeutic action phase one first safety confirm take a small group of the people safety that's why you have to select here healthy volunteers not the patients because you are not going to study the efficacy of the drug right so safety pharmacokinetics generally 20 to 80 objects closely controlled healthy volunteers you have to be select phase two Efficacy and safety, both you are going to be study. Usually more than the subjects uh, and closely controlled patient volunteers, you have to be select here because you are going to study the efficacy therapeutic action and phase three, same efficacy and safety, but in the large people, you are going to be select like that. This is called a clinical trials. Very, 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 very important all one. And finally, this is the last slide, drug filing and marketing, three names. New chemical entity we are calling it as after clinical trial, see here, after pre-clinical, then only you are calling an investigational new drug. See, first you should not supposed to be call it as a drug. Don't call it, is, you call it as a chemical entity, only chemical structure, because you, you don't know that either it is having a drug properties or not, therapeutic properties or not. That's why you are calling as a new chemical entity. Once it was a proven in the animals, then you can say IND, investigational new drug. See, we here also we are not calling as a drug investigation because it is not proven. It is proven only in the animals, not proven in the humans. Only under the investigation only. That's why the name nicely they have designed. Investigational new drug. It is a new drug only having therapeutic action in the uh, animals, but it is a new only. That's why investigation. After completion in the clinicals, then you can say new drug application. See the name new drug application how nicely they have arranged okay so i will end my session here